Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to cover the uh, car culture, the team uh, team transport. We got some matchbox, a few Hot Wheels, and a couple box sets. So we'll jump right into this video. Um, shouldn't be too too long, but we'll go over everything we have in uh, detail. Let's get started. All right, first vehicle's up is going to be the Hot Wheels car culture, team transport. This is vehicle number one in the set of three. Uh, features a Porsche 356 Speedster and a Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup. So these offer very nice artwork on the card. Has the 50th anniversary logo at the top. These are going to be a all metal casting, rubber tires, nicely detailed artwork on the vehicles. Uh, these are uh, quite sought after. They'll probably be a bit hard to find. I did. I was lucky enough to find these in the store, but they um, they must have just been stocked. They had uh, two full sets there, so. But you can see that the back um, ramp slides down to load the vehicle. But overall, very nice, and these are going to be very popular. So on the back, you can see that there is the three in the set. So anything you want to pause on there. These are going to stay in the packaging as I uh, like the card art and I'm going to display them on my wall like this. So I find it easy just to simply put a tack in and these will hang on your wall very nicely. Okay, number two in the set is going to be the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX and then a Sprinter van. So you can see here features very nice tampo work. Now this is going to be a plastic box. Um, the rest of it is going to be an all-metal truck as well as the vehicle. A little hard to see in the packaging, but um, like I say, these are going to stay in the packaging. I don't have room to display them out, so I might as well sleeve them in. But nice wheel combination, uh, rubber tires on these. You can see the rear riders in metal on metal. Truck is nicely detailed, tampo work, has all the lights in the front, features the gritty on the License plate on the side. You can see the detailing, gas tanks, and very nice artwork on the card. So you can see what the car looks like. 50th logo. And again, these are all the same on the back. These are 2018 release. So these are new in the stores right now. So if you're looking to get these, you got to head out and take a look. Last one here is number three. Well, this one here features pretty amazing artwork on the card um, compared to the other ones. Very nicely uh, detailed there. The vehicle's inside 69 Nissan Skyline van carry on. So the Advan, very, very nice. Simple decals, but very nice. This is uh, the same as what you've been kind of seeing for uh, vehicles in the lineup. Very popular vehicle. The uh, the Nissan there has become quite popular in the last few years here. So, see it features nice tampo work, detailing, lights, has a full interior. Same with the car. Just overall, very nice. Rear tail lights, and the again, rear riders and metal on metal. 50th logo. And again, they're all the same. On the back. And as you can see I had them in the background but I was lucky enough to find um, two full sets so I did pick up two of the Volkswagens just because the Volkswagens are my favorite and I just picked up one of the other ones but if you're able to pick these up I definitely grab them when you see them. They won't stay on the shelves long. Up next we have two Hot Wheels. So this one here is just a basic release. It's uh, from the WWE Wrestling. It's kind of cool. Triple H. So he was pretty popular in the wrestling world. I got it just because it's a van. It's a Baja Breaker. So very nice little casting. These are just basically so metal body, uh, plastic base. It was only a couple dollars, so we picked it up. But overall. Nice little vehicle. And then next we have is 
going to be from the 2018 8 of 10 HW artwork or art car sorry cool combi so everybody has been searching for this because this is the basic treasure hunt for this case so you can see on the top there it has the circle flame logo that's built into the graphic work so in this case this is the uh, basic treasure hunt hard to come by I had to pay it a little bit more for this one you can even see the packaging isn't isn't perfect but at least I got one I wouldn't go out and spend a ton of money on these people will ask 20 30 dollars for your things it's just not worth it it's just a basic hot wheel that's a you know dollar 25 at Walmart if you can pick it up for you know under five bucks or something like that it's it's worth it um, unless you're a diehard and you need all the uh, the treasure hunts but I just like it because I collect Volkswagen so that's why I really wanted this one to complete the collection I have virtually every other combi cool combi bus that was released anything on the back you want it gives you the case and obviously it's a 2018 release but pretty nice to add to the collection this is going to be the air cooled set this is from Hot Wheels again it's the car culture it's a very popular set to collect it's going to be very nice uh, display of artwork on the card. The car is 505, 60s Fiat 500D. These are going to be an all metal casting with rubber tires. So heavily detailed. You can see the interior, all the decals on the vehicle. I don't know why they don't put lights and um, whatnot on these ones because these cars do cost, um, you know, they're going to be in your five six dollar range so you really I mean yeah you're getting an all metal but I mean the little tiny touches with rear lights and everything like that would be would be nice to see in um, this uh, money level anyway because some of the dollar uh, 25 cars have um, the tail lights and whatnot decals on them so it's quite a few in this set so if you want to see them all I only got the two that I like just because these were a or a bit more money for what you're really getting, but I got the Volkswagen Squareback as the other one, and then the Fiat, but the other ones are there are pretty nice. You want to zoom in on anything? So these are a 2016 release, but Toys R Us had quite a few of them, so I just picked them up. I actually passed them up the first time around, but again, air cooled. This one's 205. It's a custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. This is one of my favorite castings for a Volkswagen it's pretty nice see it has a square force one um, you can see it has also like where it looks like dirt splashed up on there pretty neat attention to detail there all metal rubber tires again no no tamper work for lights or anything like that but backs are all the same And up next, we got a uh, few uh, Matchbox to go over. These are a little bit older. These are, well, late, late 90s, about 97, 98, I believe. Um, so they are going to be 1997. Um, this is the Peterbilt. Very nice little casting. Uh, can't go wrong with having these in the collection. They're just a basic release, so metal body, plastic base, the tanker on the back is plastic. Um, it does flip up. I did one in a previous video of their 70s version. This does flip up and the little little mixer does spin. But overall just a basic car. Any information if you want on the back. Next one is the Peterbilt tanker. So I, like I've mentioned before, I collect gas tank or gas pumps. So shell gas station on the truck. It's just a bonus. A very nice little casting here. Again, it's the same truck as what you saw. All metal, plastic there, plastic bottom. But unique little casting there. These are basically all the same on the back. So. 
next up show those tractor these are kind of unique I don't collect a lot of this stuff here but um, the price was right for these so we uh, picked up a couple of them same same era these ones you can see uh, have been in the Sun they don't have the clear packaging been left out a little bit someone had these on display but these are all metal body plastic base in the plastic bucket plastic tires next up a ball crane neat little casting um, I did show this kind of similar one in the um, the vintage uh, video I did of the matchbox but this one is just like I said from about the um, 1997 metal casting the booms plastic the boom does extend out and it extends up other than that, it's just a basic casting. We'll get to a couple vehicles. 4x4 Chevy Blazer. So like I had mentioned in previous videos as well, I collect anything that's Blazer related, so I had to pick this up. It's kind of neat. It's a emergency unit, off-road patrol. It's got the big long antenna for your CB, lights on the top, all metal casting, plastic base. Big grippy tires on there. This one here is kind of different. Snacks. 100 amazing flavors. Ice cream truck. So a big jacked up van here. Again, all metal. It's got two sunroofs on the top. It's got the little portal window on the back. It has windows on the back doors. Plastic base, metal body. Kind of unique little casting there. Same era, 1997. And the last one we have, Ford Bronco 2. Free delivery. Slices to go. Pizzeria. Pretty cool. These are kind of similar line of uh, Blazer in the era. They're, they're pretty cool little vehicles to see them. If you can see the older style like this, this would be like a 80 style spare tire in the back oh it's got a little sunroof that's open all metal body plastic base very nice little casting here all right move on to a couple of box sets all right we got two match box um, justice league box sets these are um, pretty neat if you're into the uh, collecting justice leagues or any other character cars but they're um, metal, plastic body. Um, they do feature rubber tires, but they have very, very nice tamp work done, like you can see on the Batman. All of them are very, very nicely detailed. These are going to stay in the packaging as well, just because I don't, again, have enough space to display everything. But you can see that they were $15 originally. I did not pay $15 for these. Nice little packaging. They're in pretty good shape, actually, the package and everything. So, whoever had these just simply displayed them. And these are going to be from 2003. Is there anything somebody would like to pause on there? The last one we got here. Again, Matchbox Justice League. Just uh, some different characters there. So, you can see the rubber tires, metal body, just amazing graphic work. Got uh, Superman there, Wonder Woman, pretty cool little detail work on that. But I like uh, the character cars. Um, these sets were a little, are nicer because they're all um, rubber tires, metal nice to see oftentimes these are not a lot of times character cars are not um, rubber tires or anything like that but they show pretty good okay that's going to wrap it up for this video um, the uh, Hot Wheels car culture team transport that you see that is in stores now so if you're looking for those you definitely want to head out and um, see where you can find those either Walmart Toys R Us probably has them I know Walmart for sure does um, the air-cooled stuff is um, 
like about a year or so old. So if you're into that, uh, the um, Toys R Us had full stock on that. So I don't know if it was just something they had kicking around still. The um, Hot Wheels uh, Cool Combi's uh, Treasure Hunt. So if you're looking for that, that is the uh, Treasure Hunt for that case. The uh, Matchbox stuff's a little bit older, so um, you aren't really going to be able to really find that unless you buy it secondhand, eBay or something like that, or flea markets. Um, other than that, I mean, you got the ju the Matchbox Justice League. Um, if you like uh, the character cards and whatnot, that stuff's always available, um, like through eBay and stuff like that. So you can definitely find it if that's what you're into. But that's, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this. So again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.